Hi, this is Lance from Langchain. This is the 11th video in our Langsmith evaluation series focused on summary evaluators. So the motivation for this um, is, let's say for example, I have an evaluation for document grading. Now we talked about this previously. I've used this quite a bit in the context of RAG, where I basically do retrieval and I grade each document to determine whether or not it's relevant to the question. So I basically have an LLM grader that does this and it returns a binary score of yes or no. Um, now I've built an evaluation set for this previously and we've actually looked at it a little bit. It's called relevance grade. If you look at the examples, each example has a document, an example question, and a score as to whether or not the document is relevant to the question. So this is just a nice little toy data set we can use to test this grading process. So there's three examples. You can see one is no, because the question and the document are not related. So it's an example of an irrelevant uh, retrieval. So here's kind of the question though. How can I create a metric to uh, summarize performance in this data set in a custom way? So you kind of saw before when we run our evaluations, um, I can go back to the data set, I can look at the experiments. You do get this correctness score. Now, all this is, is just simply a summation of the scores from each individual experiment. Or actually, I guess it's a mean, in fact. Um, so it's basically the mean of scores across your experiments, right, in this particular case. Now, what if I want a different thing? What if I don't want, for example, correctness to be my aggregate summary metric across this whole data set? What if I wanted to find something custom? That's the motivation here. So let's kind of just like kind of see where we are in the landscape. So we built that uh, the data set we just showed. So it's a, a, it's a developer curated data set or manually curated data set. We're using LM as a judge evaluator. I have ground truth and I'm performing evaluation with LM as a judge. Now, the only thing different is that I'm gonna define a custom metric for my evaluation across the data set. So this is the overall flow. It matches what we've talked about this before already, but the only trick is I'm gonna define a custom metric in this particular case. So here's a here's kind of the challenge I'm gonna I'm gonna pose. First, I'm gonna define a grader using OpenAI, and you, you actually we've seen this before. I define a data model that returns a pedantic object that's basically a binary score of yes no. Uh, I bind that object to my LLM right here, so it's gonna produce a structured output. Uh, I have my grader prompt here, and that's it. That's my grader chain, and then I just have this function predict OpenAI which will take a data set input and it will just invoke my grader and return my grade as an output grade, uh, which will just be yes or no. That's all that's happening here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna find a misdraw grader. Same flow, but in this case, I'm gonna use misdraw running locally on my laptop as the grader. And I'm gonna use this JSON mode to enforce JSON output, but that's actually what we wanna test here. Like, can I reliably get a binary score out um, and here's my grader prompt and so forth. So the setup here is that I'm gonna do a comparative A-B test between my misdraw grader, my open AI grader on my evaluation set. So we've seen that all before, nothing new there. The only thing I'm gonna add is if you go down, I want a summary metric on this data set. And what I wanna do is I want a metric that basically combines precision and recall. So, you know, if you recall precision, basically is the measure of true positives over all your positives. So basically that's true positives and your false positives, okay? Now recall is kind of the other side of the coin. Recall is the true positives over all possible positives in the data set. So the intuition here typically is that these are kind of intention, right? If you have a data set and you basically guess everything is a positive, right? Uh, just promiscuously, you just guess positive every time you can have perfect recall, or you by definition will have perfect recall, but your precision will be quite bad because you'll probably have lots of false positives depending on the structure of your data set. And the inverse is also true. So there's a nice metric called F1 score, which, typically, which basically unites precision and recall. It's basically the harmonic mean of precision recall. You can look that up, but the intuition is that it, it combines these two metrics. So it's commonly used in machine learning and other fields as a way to kind of combine the trade-offs between precision and recall. So I'm gonna find an F1 score evaluator Recall that my data set, you know, every experiment or every run uh, or sample in my data set is yes or no. Um, so I can just go through my samples 
and each one is scored as basically yes or no. Um, so, you know, here's where I'm doing that comparison. And I'm just binning them into true positives or false positives, false negatives, based upon the, 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 the relationship between my example, which is the ground truth reference, and my grade prediction, which you recall, we wrote out grade here in both cases. So this, the output of our predict function just returns a grade, and that's our yes, no score. We compare it to ground truth here. We log the number of true positives, false positives, false negatives, and we compute F1 score using that. That's all we did. So again, we have this function, compute F1 score here. And now all I need to do is again, call our good old evaluate method with our particular chain of interest. So this time I'll, I'll evaluate uh, Mistral and I'm gonna use my F1 score evaluator. That's it, let's kick that off. So that should be running now. And that's running against our data set. So you can see we've set our data set here, relevance grade. And it looks like that run, great. Now we can do the same for OpenAI. So that's running. Now we can go back to our data set relevance grade. Let me actually do it, go here. So again, I'm in Langsmith here. This is my data sets. I'm in the data set relevance grade. I can see my experiments and these two tests just rolled in. So this is test score OpenAI, test score Mistral. Um, you can see this is the prefix we add to our experiment. So that's where that's, in, that's coming from. And what you'll notice is uh, we have this F1 score now logged with each experiment, which is pretty nice. And we can go ahead and open those up. So let's open up in comparison view. Um, so this is pretty cool. We can basically look at the summary metric here. So that's cool. We can see that both have a summary metric of one. So they both got um, all of our test samples correct. And we can confirm that here. So here's the reference. Here's what each chain produced. That's it. Really simple, very nice, very convenient to be able to find custom evaluators on data sets. And you can see right here, we're just viewing the both in comparison mode. Um, and we can confirm that the summary metric um, is indeed correct because it looks like both of our chains got every answer correct. So that's it, very convenient to use and um, I recommend exploring with a little bit more. Thanks.